this is my first youtube video ever like i never thought i would be into this type of stuff but you know i'm out here doing it you know so for this first video i'm going to talk about my college experience um being the first year student in college all that so i attend columbus state university in columbus georgia and i'm a freshman you know and just being a first year student it kind of you know it has its perks and it has its downfalls, you know, but it's okay, I'm gonna hang in there though. So some of the perks of being a first year student is like the very first week on campus, we kinda got free stuff, like the whole week, it was just free shirts, free food, you know, free food. Um, just, it was an experience the very first week being here, it was kinda, you know, dramatic, it was like, wow, like I'm really an adult now, like this is my life. Uh, some of the downfalls would probably be just being on my, like, not necessarily being on my own, but, you know, a broke college student out here, you know, really, you know. Um, but, yeah, it is. Being a first-year student at college away from home, it's, 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 it's a big jump. It's a big step. And I'm kind of learning things as I go along the way. I'm going to tell you all about a moving day. Moving day was crazy. Do you hear me? Like, I came in with two trucks, not cars, <laughs> trucks, and two of them. That's how crazy moving day was for me. Like, I literally packed up my whole life and brought it to college, thinking I needed it my whole life, but I really didn't. So, you know how moving day, um, the way our dorm is set up is like a little semicircle, and everybody has to drive a little car through the semicircle. And it was like some res life people outside helping us, you know, set up, had blue bins helping us get stuff out of the car, step into our room and whatnot. And, you know, it was really hectic, but I was happy. I was like, it was like reality had hit me. Like, I'm like, wow, like I'm really moving into a college dorm. Like this is gonna be my home. So I would say my first set of advice would to be, you know, um, Watch your surroundings at all times. No matter where you're at, who you're with, um, just always watch your surroundings because people are people are watching you, whether you know it or not. People are always watching, um, and it's kind of you know crazy, creepy, stalkerish, but people do that, and just you gotta be careful, be safe. Um, invest in some pepper spray, taser. I mean, if your campus lets you have taser, but I recommend pepper spray because I, I came to school with pepper spray just in case somebody had to spray the light. But I had to use it. But yeah, just watch your surroundings all at all times, honestly. If you know that you're not a morning person, don't pick morning classes because you're going to regret it in the end. Like with me, I came in like, hey, I don't want any classes past maybe 2.45, 3 o'clock, because I want that time to myself. I want to spend that time studying or hanging out with friends or doing stuff, and I didn't want any late afternoon classes, so I had all my classes were like early, like, I think I had a, I had a 9 o'clock class, I had a 10 o'clock, an 11, so all my classes were kind of early because I'm that, I'm that kind of person, but just, you know, know who you are when you get to school, know what kind of time you're on, like, time is everything when you get here when you get to college time is everything so just make sure you make time you know your schedule you know you as a person and you pick out you know the type of schedule you want for yourself the classes here at columbus um some of them are like you know it's like classroom setup type like maybe 25 30 people in a room and some are the big lecture rooms you know 100 to maybe 150 or less it just depends on your uh, major and whatnot and what classes you need to take. But like for me, I'm an education major. So my classes are on main campus and our downtown campus. Our downtown campus is called River Park Campus. So I take classes on both campuses because of my major. And, you know, I kind of I kind of had to really get adjusted to being able to get on the shuttle at time at, well, at the right, get on the shuttle at the right time. And just make sure I was downtown for my class in time. Make sure I had enough time in between because the show that it takes 20 minutes to get downtown, 20 minutes to come back. So I just to make sure I was on the right schedule. Make sure I didn't put my classes too close together when I was picking my downtown classes because I needed to have time to get down there. 
it was just all about time management. This, this college is about time management, how you manage your time wisely, basically. So let's get into the parties, you know. The parties here, they be lit. You know, they be lit. Sometimes. But um, the parties just, you know, don't go crazy when you first get to college. Don't, don't, don't go crazy. Um, I've never been the party type. So when I first got here and I went to my first party, I was like, okay, I kind of, mm, but then I was like, okay, I kind of like this. I was out with my friends, you know, just having a good time um, with my friends. Also at parties, my mama always tell me this. She's always told me this, like, before I left um, home, she always told me this. She was like, whenever you put your drink down, do not go back and pick it up and listen to me, do not. Because people are crazy. People put stuff in a drink and all that and whatnot. Just, you know, be careful at parties. Know who you came with. Leave with the people you came with. Um, if your friends leave you at that party, they're not your friends. Like, they're, they're not your friends at all if they leave you at that party. Everybody's not your friend. Just, you know, choose wisely when you come to college. Don't tell everybody your business because everybody don't need to be in your business. That's your business. Friends, like... That's probably the most important thing. Well, one of the most important things when you first come to college because not everybody's your friend. Not everybody wants to see you succeed. Some people are wishing and praying on your downfall. Um, when I first got here, I had both of my roommates, two of my roommates, they were, we were close. And then I kind of met everybody else. When I first, when I got here, I kind of met everybody else. And we kind of, you know, we clicked instantly. And you just have to know who's really like, you know, your friend. You have to know like who really got your back when you get here. You you have to learn that person because when you get to college, you don't go to college with some of the people you graduate high school with. Like things don't always work out that way. So you have to learn, you know, come on campus, make new friends, you know, put yourself out there. Don't try to like, not, not in a bad way. Put yourself out there in a good way, you know, open up, you know, meet new people, get new experiences. And that's kind of something I had to do. I had to meet new people. And those people are my friends. I, I call them my friends. I really call them my family. Another important thing for college is to have one of these. Yes, like a planner. Like, this is going to be your best friend when you get to college. You feel me? Because, like, I got all my, you know, important, you know, dates, all my work, all that in here. This is going to be one of your best friends when you get to college. Um... Because the way professors are set up, you know, you're getting work. It's nothing like high school. Like, the classes are more advanced, and they pick at your brain more. And you have more work, and this is going to really help you. It's going to, you know, get you through everything. You're going to be, you know, on point. You're going to always know what you have planned for the day or the next day or that week. Um, yeah, it's just it's, it's an important tool, you know, a planner. Also, your phone, you know, you have, you know, you have a little calendar on your phone, reminders, that's, that's a good way, you know, keep up with your time while you're in college, keep up with your assignments. Um, so, me, for me personally, I use both. I use my phone and my, my written planner because they both, you know, initially helped me. So, when you get to college, you know, people think you got to dress up, you know, you got to stand out. Not necessarily, not all the time. You don't really have to necessarily dress up all the time unless you choose. So unless there's, you know, how you roll, you know. Everybody have their different personalities and how they, you know, choose to express themselves. Um, For me personally, when I first got here, I was like, you know, I'm going to be cute every day. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that on certain days. Yeah, no. I did none of that. Maybe maybe a couple of days, like maybe on Wednesdays, Thursdays, I dress up. But other than that, it was leggings and a shirt. Like you're walking around campus or you you driving around campus, and you don't you you know dress is not as important to me like here now anymore. Like it's important, but like for certain classes, I don't feel the need to dress up. I'm going to that class and learn. I don't have to you know. I, I can be pretty too, but certain days I just. I want to be chill. I want to be laid back certain days. And certain days, I want to dress up and get cute. So it just all depends on you as a person wholeheartedly. Like, that's probably, like, a probably a big question when people come to college or upcoming freshmen, high school students come to college. Like, what am I supposed to wear? How am I supposed to dress? 
it doesn't really like matter like uh, you you want to make a good impression as well but at the same time you, you might want to be chill one day you might want to be laid back so hey i mean whatever floats your boat but no for real y'all college is what you make it it has its challenges at times and it's also rewarding and that's why i thought columbus state was the better choice for me so to wrap up and you know reiterate a few things that i said overall you know just Person downfalls of being a first year student. Um, watch your surroundings at all times. Manage your time wisely. Choose your classes wisely as well. Um, choose your friends wisely. Always be cautious when going to a party. And you know, dress how you want to dress. You know, it's, it's whatever, it's college. You know, be you, express yourself. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social medias. Instagram and Twitter, Oshi Joe and Snapchat, Bubble Bear Jojo too. Yes, I know childish, but it's okay. So y'all, thank you.